In the realm of digital creativity, there existed a luminary whose designs danced with the vibrancy of his heritage, yet the journey to his success was not without its shadows. Meet Jamal Reeves, a black website designer whose talent and vision knew no bounds, yet who faced the harsh reality of racism in an industry where diversity was often more preached than practiced. From a young age, Jamal's passion for art and technology intertwined, weaving a tapestry of dreams where pixels and lines converged to tell stories of innovation and culture. His journey into the world of website design began humbly, tinkering with HTML and CSS in his spare time while navigating the challenges of growing up in a society where opportunities were not always equal. As Jamal honed his craft and delved deeper into the digital landscape, his talent caught the eye of industry giants. His designs were a fusion of modern aesthetics and cultural influences, resonating with clients who sought authenticity in a sea of mediocrity. Yet, despite his undeniable skill, Jamal encountered subtle yet pervasive forms of racism along his path. In meetings with potential clients, Jamal often found himself dismissed or underestimated because of his race. Comments like, are you sure you can handle this project? Or we're looking for someone with more experience, were all too common, serving as painful reminders of the biases that lingered beneath the surface of an ostensibly progressive industry. But Jamal refused to be defined by the limitations others placed upon him. Instead, he let his work speak volumes, each design a testament to his resilience and creativity. He sought out mentors who believed in his potential, forging connections within the industry that transcended the barriers of prejudice. With each project, Jamal shattered stereotypes and defied expectations, carving out a space for himself and others like him in an industry that sorely needed diversity. His portfolio grew, showcasing not only his technical prowess but also his unwavering commitment to excellence. Over time, Jamal's reputation as a trailblazer spread far and wide. One day, an unexpected opportunity emerged. A prominent figure in the industry, Mark Thompson, a white setup approach, extended an invitation for a collaboration that seemed too good to be true. Mark's reputation preceded him, a shrewd businessman known for his cutthroat tactics and unwavering pursuit of profit. His offer to work with Jamal raised eyebrows within the community, for it was no secret that Mark's alliances often served his own interests above all else. With cautious optimism, Jamal accepted the offer, mindful of the potential pitfalls that lay ahead. As their collaboration unfolded, Jamal couldn't shake the feeling of being a pawn in Mark's game, a means to an end rather than an equal partner. While Mark praised Jamal's talent and expertise in public forums, behind closed doors, his intentions seemed far more self-serving. Subtle hints of disdain seeped into their interactions, veiled beneath a facade of professional courtesy. Jamal sensed the underlying currents of racism lurking beneath the surface, a reminder that even in the rarefied world of digital design, prejudice still held sway. Yet, Jamal soldiered on, determined not to let Mark's hidden agenda derail his own aspirations. He navigated their partnership with grace and resilience, leveraging his skills to extract what value he could from the arrangement while remaining vigilant against any attempts to exploit him. Despite the challenges they faced, Jamal's talent proved impossible to ignore. His designs dazzled clients and critics alike, earning accolades that transcended the confines of their collaboration. With each project, Jamal affirmed his place as a force to be reckoned with in the industry, a testament to the power of perseverance in the face of adversity. As the momentous occasion of selling their jointly built app approached, Jamal couldn't shake the nagging feeling that he needed to know where he truly stood in Mark's eyes. Despite their collaboration, there remained a lingering doubt, an uncertainty born of the subtle undercurrents of racism that had colored their partnership from the start. With the investor's gaze fixed upon them, Jamal seized the opportunity to put Mark's true colors to the test. Casually, he posed the seemingly innocuous question, Mark, who would you say was our main partner on this project? 
Mark's response was swift and calculated, a cold smile playing at the corners of his lips. Well, I think it's safe to say that I was the driving force behind this endeavor. After all, it was my vision and leadership that brought it to fruition. Jamal's heart sank as he heard the words tumble from Mark's lips. It was as he had feared, all the hard work, the late nights spent poring over code and design, the moments of creative brilliance, all of it reduced to nothing more than a footnote in Mark's narrative of self-aggrandizement. He had hoped against hope that Mark would surprise him, Mark's willingness to erase Jamal's contributions from their shared history spoke volumes, a damning indictment of the insidious prejudice that lurked within him. As the investor's gaze shifted between them, Jamal met Mark's eyes with a steely resolve. In that instant, he knew that he could no longer countenance being complicit in a partnership built on deceit and exploitation. With a sense of liberation coursing through his veins, Jamal spoke, his voice steady and unwavering. Actually, I believe that this project was a true collaboration, born of the collective efforts of both Mark and myself. And while I appreciate Mark's leadership, I must insist that credit be given where credit is due. The air crackled with tension as Jamal's words hung in the balance, the weight of truth bearing down upon them both. With a thoughtful expression, he took a moment to consider the dynamics at play, the weight of fairness and integrity bearing down upon his decision. Finally, breaking the silence, the investor spoke, his voice resonating with authority and clarity. It's clear to me that Jamal's contributions to this project cannot be understated. His talent, dedication, and creative vision have been the driving force behind its success. Turning to Mark, he continued, his tone firm yet measured. However, I cannot ignore the fact that your failure to acknowledge Jamal's role in this partnership speaks volumes. It reveals a bias that undermines the integrity of our collaboration and compromises the values upon which this venture was founded. With a decisive gesture, the investor moved to strip Mark of his involvement in the project, his expression leaving no room for argument. Therefore, I have decided to recognize Jamal as the lead on this project going forward. His expertise and leadership will be instrumental in guiding its continued success, and I have every confidence in his ability to see it through to fruition. It was a victory not only for himself but for every person who had ever been marginalized or overlooked because of their race. With a renewed sense of purpose, Jamal stepped into his new role as the project's lead, his determination unshakable and his vision unwavering. And as he charted a course for the future, he knew that his journey was far from over, that with each step forward, he would continue to defy expectations and rewrite the narrative of what it meant to be a black website designer in a world hungry for change. The story of Jamal Reeves serves as a powerful reminder of the resilience of the human spirit, and the transformative power of integrity and perseverance. Despite facing the insidious forces of racism and prejudice, Jamal refused to be defined by the limitations imposed upon him. Instead, he dared to dream boldly, to create fearlessly, and to stand unwavering in the face of adversity. Through Jamal's journey, we are reminded that true success is not measured solely by wealth or status, but by the authenticity with which we pursue our dreams and the impact we have on the world around us. It is a testament to the fact that talent knows no boundaries of race or background, and that the only limits worth acknowledging are the ones we set for ourselves.